Hello Dragonstone players. So we've got a wonderful contest going on. Maniac Marauders. Where you can get cool free stuff like raid tickets and more. And so the deal with this contest is that you need to do hard expedition with these heroes. Unfortunately for me, I have an orc. And I've got... The understudy, she is horribly underdeveloped. My orc's okay. I have a tiny banshee and a tiny witch, and I have a tiny mistress and no mogul. So really, I have one useful hero, and I might get try to get something out of the understudy, as you guys saw in the first expedition. I got a few wins out of her. Um, I hired a wee witch the first time. That went over pretty well. I'm going to try uh, Banshee. As you can see, I already got into the second expedition. So, for those of you that are new or just coming along, Hard Expedition may be challenging to you still. And so this will help you in the contest and will help you with some pointers for Hard Expedition. For those of you that are old timers, you probably have no issues with Hard Expedition, but Nonetheless, you may enjoy some of the tips. The other thing I'd like to say is that thankfully we had enough warning about this contest, so I was able to save myself an expedition reset and was already in hard mode when the thing started. So I'll be able to finish um, six expeditions in, in the time of the contest. The other thing is I saved my reset today. Good thing too, because it's double expedition gold, which means that tomorrow morning I'm going to do two, and the following morning I'm going to do another one. So during the double expedition gold period, I'll be able to finish three expeditions, which is awesome, because I'll be able to really work on the heroes that I have underdeveloped. I started out as mostly an F2P player. I haven't spent a ton. As you can see, I'm VIP 6. As of recently, I think it was a total of 47 bucks spent over the period of a couple of months. But that gives you enough raid tickets uh, and enough sort of other bonuses to keep the game interesting. So let's talk about Hard Expedition. I'm not even going to care what this lineup is. Uh, you know, they're level one on one. It's just it's just the third fight in in the first stage of expedition so I just want to talk about some of the heroes you'll really need if you are someone that does not have a spider um, expedition might be rough I mean it might be easy for you anyway but spider makes your life a million times easier she can eat some of the problem opponents particularly the thief and the bard Hydra Medusa I would also say, obviously, Bard is essential for this game, period, anyway, so you want to have her for Expedition. You want to have an answer to Bone Dragon teams, because his legendary skill is to suck your energy. And so, there are a few different ways to answer that. Uh, one way I do that is by charging up my heroes. You can see my Shaman here. I use him in the beginning with Medusa's legendary skill which allows your heroes to store extra energy. And so um, basically then Bone Dragon's legendary skill is not going to affect you as much because you'll still be able to cast. So your goal really in the first few stages, um, first few fights, is to charge up as many of your heroes as you need to have a successful expedition run. So, I mean, obviously... Spirit Wolf, so that you can silence uh, your enemies. You'll want to have Kaiju, especially against some of the big frontline folks. I like charging up my Thief, of course, as well as my Spectral, so he can just take over an enemy right at the beginning of a fight. You know, anyone at the top uh, pretty much gets charged. You don't really need to charge up your Witch. Um, her white skill isn't terribly strong. I don't bother charging up my horse or etc. Um, <clears throat> but really, you guys know, Rabbit Dragon, when he goes off, he's almost unstoppable. 
Genie, when he goes off, he's almost unstoppable. And there are a few other characters I use to, uh, you know, supplement the 15 or so I have fully charged going into the final stages of Expedition. All right, so let's see who exactly we're fighting. Um, so no one that the spider can eat, so I'll drop her out. He'll need magic damage. Kaiju's great against him and him. Uh, to get to Kaiju quickly, we'll need something that hits across the back. And of course, he'll toast any big frontline heavies. So I'm going to take her out. Um, you know, you get points in the contest for having him. He's kind of charged. I have a charged barbarian. So potentially I may just want to drop in a bone dragon so that Kaiju can't go off right away and just hope that the other ones take care of business. So let's see what happens. So I set this on auto. He's set a shield so that will limit the initial damage. There goes Bard. There goes the weak punch from her. So hopefully Bard will take care of business before anything gets interesting. Oh yeah, not enough magic damage unfortunately. Oh, oh, enough magic damage to kill the Spectral too. The Monk is a little hurt, but you know what, I can restore him with some other healers. So I'm going to go on and hit continue. I will encourage you all to rerun Expedition Stages as often as you wish. Really you want to make sure that you wind up with your characters ready to go for the next fight. Um, I don't expect the next fight to be to be terribly tough. So I'm just going to keep on going um, with my monk here. I, can, I like, like I said, I can always drop in a healer and frankly I'll probably drop in a corgi so she can wreck some stuff up while also healing. He can obviously heal himself too. So I'll hit continue, grab my rewards, yay. Next stage. Um, Again, no edibles for the spider. I like the spider because she, she makes it four on one, of course. With the constraint of the contest, unfortunately, it's hard to get your heroes charged up. So ideally, I'd want to be using Shaman with Medusa um, in all the fights. And, and obviously, I don't want Orc Monk. And I don't really want these other two, and so I'd slowly be charging up all my other heroes as I go along. Being that this contest is going on, I am going to be not doing that as effectively. But in a few fights, I'll have to drop out understudy anyway, and so that will give me some room to charge up some of my other heroes. So let's see how this goes. It's potentially my uh, monk is going to get killed right away, but we'll see. If he does, I'll sub in the horse for the corgi. Well, so now he's left almost dead, which is not great. So I'm going to rerun this, only because I need him for the rest of the competition. I'm sorry, for the rest of the contest. So let's see what happens here. All right, he didn't he didn't have time to heal himself. So one thing you can do in these kind of stages where you're guaranteed to win, you can rerun. <coughs> you can jump in, and instead of having the bard just completely go all crazy, don't go in fast forward and don't go in auto the whole time. So there's one punch. You want to make sure most of these cats are dead. But then maybe leave the witch so that the monk has time to kill him. Monk has time to heal himself. Uh, that didn't happen. Well, he's got full shield, so I feel fairly confident in the next fight. He'll survive. So I'm going to hit continue. There's one edible here, which is nice. So I'm going to drop this out. I'm going to drop her out. Put in the corgi. Put in my spider. And so hopefully he'll throw up his shield. And then have enough time to heal himself. 
Uh, unfortunately, there's a bone dragon with a special skill, so I didn't take that into account. So let's retreat. Let's talk about the situation. He's got that energy drain, draining skill. So I've got ways to deal with that right now. I've got my shaman who can cast, who I saved up. Usually I'd have more heroes. The other thing you can do is use heroes that just have abilities that trigger right off the bat, like the witch bonus and the horse's shield, or you can use heroes who have abilities that, uh, whose secondary abilities that don't require the energy bar are killer. So you guys will see Shaman will have time to cast. There you go, despite Bone Dragon skill. And this is going to be over pretty quickly. Obviously, no major victory. And there she goes. All right. So I'm going to plow through the remainder of Expedition and show you the final few fights. So this matchup presents some nice examples of how well the spider can work and how well Medusa can work to freeze things. So you've got some big enemies with the thief and the bard, and of course you've got the witch energizing everybody. You've got the bonuses from both of them, which are charging up the corgi. So this is not an easy lineup. And of course, they're still level 102s, so not terribly difficult. But I'll show you how well this can work while still charging up my orc monk. So let's get this going. So I'm going to grab the thief, and most importantly, I want the shield on the monk, and I want the freeze from the Medusa. I'm going to put the rest on auto, really. So you'll see, there goes my monk, he's now healed. One thing you'll notice, see Medusa's only at half health? You'll see this screen pops up right now. She's at full health. I am not entirely sure why that happens, but almost regardless of how dead she is, by the time she comes back to this screen, she's fully healed. Um, I'm not entirely sure if that's an artifact of one of her skills, um, and at, at that point she wasn't sucking on a cocoon or anything like that, so I'm not entirely sure why she should gain this at the end of the fight. But it's reliable, and that's why I think she's invaluable in Expedition. I don't want to bore you for too much longer, so uh, stay tuned for more videos, particularly in this contest where I'll be talking about other cool hero aspects to Expedition, particularly how much of a lifesaver Thief is sometimes. And as always, have fun playing the game. This is Ergo Proxy, and uh, hit that subscribe button if you like the content. I'd love more viewers. Take care.